Hey, it's two million. Wow. I saw those. Um, maybe you did too. Maybe the camera picked them up. But those are some massive lightning bolts. Um, yeah, I tried to skirt around a little storm here. <clears throat> Leaving McDonough, Georgia. Uh, met with a colleague. <clears throat> and uh, now we're heading home. And uh, this definitely a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, that warning came up on my phone. I was like, oh, great. That's going to be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, I think hopefully it's going that way. Uh, not coming this way, but I'm going that way. Is sort of that way, so I'll probably be going into it a little bit. Um, sprinkling a little bit here, but um, not too bad. <clears throat> Oof, saw another one. I just uh, don't want to get caught in a really bad one and get struck by lightning. That would kind of put a damper on my day. So I'll give you a play-by-play uh, -play of how it's going, but in the meantime, it has been a, um, it's been a pretty good day. I had a meeting this morning at a Zoom webinar or whatever at my office and traveled an hour to meet with a colleague and have a little mentor visit. And I'm now heading home and it is, uh, ooh, it's getting hairy. That's the, it's a fairly large storm, but looking like the, uh, the route that I take home might skirt around the edge of it. I'll probably get a little bit wet. Um, the wind, the, the wind and the temperature has changed a lot. Uh, it was very hot, very humid when I left. And then it's almost like I hit a wall just a few minutes ago right before I started and it the temperature dropped and the wind picked up um, you can probably see on the camera it's there's some mist hey, it's it's raining it's, uh, misting sprinkling I guess and uh, here I go I'm gonna be making my turn into the storm now not really looking forward to this but such is the bike life I mean Go figure. And I could put on all my rain gear stuff. In fact, I, I might, and then just stop once it's over and take it all back off because, yeah, looking at where I'm going on the map, I'm going straight into it. <clears throat> and uh, I'm pretty close now. Looking at the clouds, those clouds look pretty nasty. So, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, the road, well, the road is, has been wet here, so maybe it's moving away. Maybe. Then again, maybe not. I look at the road over there and I can see all the spray coming up off the road. I'm going straight into it, aren't I? Oh, this is gonna... This is not gonna be fun. <clears throat> if, um, if you've never ridden in um, thunderstorms, I, I mean, I don't recommend it as a pastime. But if you haven't, then it's worth experiencing at least once. Um, with the fear of getting popped in the head with lightning. Whew. I'm hoping though it'll get one of these trees before it gets me. I am going to get over. Sorry, cutting off that truck. Oh, here's some bigger drops. I tell my feet are 
getting a little bit wet. Oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll stay on the edge of it. Maybe I won't get the torrential downpour part. Or maybe I will because I see it right there. I can see the rain right up at that bend and it is coming. My only hope is that it is short-lived and that I've got a, an hour left uh, home and by that point I'll be dry. Probably not because it's already stinging. Ouch! down like I said at least I'm not going through the middle of it I am definitely on the edge because I can I can tell but I get oh man it's hitting my neck for some reason that is that stings definitely stings now I'm probably gonna get a warning on my phone there's water or debris in the USB port shutting off the USB port that is one thing that this phone does there are some bigger drops is it will um, automatically turn off the USB so that it uh, doesn't short out if I happen to plug something in. But it does say, don't plug anything in, you moron. Woo! I saw that one. All right, let's do this. I should have stopped and put on my rain gear. Uh, these are some big drops. My phone said something. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to turn this off. I am... Well, I'm already soaked. <clears throat> really hope this ends soon. Oh, these are big drops. It stings, man. Oh, try not to go too fast, but try to go fast enough that I'll hurry up and get through it. Woo, I'm nice and soaked already. Fun, fun times being a biker. My music just stopped. Oh, it's an advertisement. I'm listening to iHeartRadio. Uh, and every like three songs it'll come on this ad free listening experience brought to you by T-Mobile blah 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 hey look at there it's not raining anymore well it's sprinkling still oh man I'm soaked and it's going down my crotch feet definitely soaked front soaked crotch soaked legs soaked hands soaked but hopefully I'm past that um Yeah, not too shabby. <clears throat> now what I should have done is put on my rain suit, made it through there, and then pulled over up here when I'm definitely clear and the road's dry and uh, take it back off. But that would take like an extra, you know, 10, 15 minutes. <coughs> and I just want to go home at this point. Uh-oh, looks like I'm turning back into it. Do you, do you like the play-by-play -play here? Let's see, I probably need to wipe off my camera. Do, 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 do. Dry it off. I don't know. Maybe that made it worse. Maybe that made it better. Yep, yeah, it's starting to rain again. I can see blue skies, but the storm is right over there. And there's still some lightning popping around. Lightning can travel amazingly long distances and uh, it's like I remember hearing somewhere if you're old, if you're close enough to hear the thunder wait what I'm, oh I'm staying straight um, if you're close enough to hear the thunder you're close enough to get struck by lightning at least that's what I've heard I 
want to get out of this rain. Uh, I don't know what's happened with my GPS, recenter. There we go. One mile, I'm turning. But I guess on the positive side, this is uh, knocking off some of the dirt out of my motorcycle. Picking up road grime, but uh, it's knocking off the dirt at least. And now I'm turning to the right up here, so I might be turning right back into it. Stay tuned. I am going to be going by the Atlanta Motor Speedway. One thought I've had is would they allow a motorcycle on the Atlanta Motor Speedway? That would be pretty cool to take this thing and um, on the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Going on the bank turns and all that stuff. Yeah, I know with a motorcycle, you, you know, you bank to turn. Um, so I wonder how it would be on a, you know, 35 degree bank, how it would be to turn. But here comes the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And it's straight to the storm again. Uh, not looking forward to it. Oh, uh, well, if the sun would come out, the devil would be beating his wife. The wind is blowing, the rain is pouring, and there's the speedway. Ouch. Ooh, I just went through a lot of water. Atlanta Motor Speedway. And you know, there is really nothing around here. Uh, this is really in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> uh, uh, that definitely, uh, lane definitely ended. Oh man. And it, they've had a lot of water. Judging by how much water is in the ditches right now, like I just saw. And on the road, that was a torrential downpour. <clears throat> and I am soaked. So anyway. I think I'm past it. I see clear skies in front of me. Oh, geez. I saw the um, pine straw and the dirt on the road. And I was like, eh, this is not going to be good. <clears throat> I'm going to be careful. Um, is this kind of some winding roads and wet road with probably debris, debris in the road is not going to bode well for traction on the tires. So until then, ooh, and now the humidity kicked back up. Look at there. Went through the front and the temperature just skyrockets again. Please be excellent to each other. Two Willie, signing out. God be with you till we meet again. <laughs>